everyone, welcome to Entertainment Circle. I am Sheila Paz and I'm here with the legend of the country music. Well, the music in general, because <laughs> you are a musician at heart, Terry McBride. How are you? Hi, Sheila. I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you formally. Well, we've been chatting for a while off camera, <laughs> trying to get a Facebook Live working, but it didn't work. So, but we're having fun. Absolutely. Right? So far, so good. Yes. Yeah. So, where are you from? Well, I grew up uh, uh, just outside of Austin, Texas. Born and raised down there, and uh, eventually moved to Austin. Mm -hmm. Called that my home for a lot of years before moving to Nashville on about uh, the summer of '91. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in a band that finally had a little success, and uh, felt it was time to make the move up to Nashville. I was mm -hmm. spending a lot of time here anyway, writing songs, wow. staying in a hotel away from my family. I, it just made more sense, and so made the move. Actually, uh, June of '91 is when I came up. Wow, mm -hmm. this has been a long time. Been a long time. Is that 26 years? Yes, it has What's been. Counting? Yeah, it is counting. Let me do the math real quick. Oh, it's kind of shocking once I did the math. But, but yes, it is hard to believe. But yes, I've been here. It's my you know second home now. I have mm -hmm. children that have, that were born here in Tennessee. I have mm -hmm. one daughter that was born in Texas. So yeah, it's here in here, between Tennessee and Texas. But uh, heading back to Texas. This week to do a little bit of promoting and talk uh, to I was just going to ask you, you go back often? Not that often. We do have family there. So, of course, mm -hmm. family events and things like that, we do make it back for. But uh, I haven't been touring on my own or playing music in quite some time for years. I've been behind the scenes writing songs. And fortunately, for, for it, a, it, so yeah. So making a, a living out of country writing. That's right. right as, a, as a songwriter. I came to town as a songwriter and was fortunate to get a record deal at MCA. Right. Mm -hmm. I got signed through the songs I was writing, and they sort of created a band for me to be in in front. It was called McBride and the Ride. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had some success and a good run with that. Fortunately, when the band sort of disbanded, I was starting to get some songs recorded by George Strait, mm -hmm. Brooks and Dunn, people like that, John Anderson, a few of my favorite artists. And uh, so that was encouraging. When my artist deal went away, I wasn't just devastated. I was disappointed. The band didn't really last and go as long as I would probably have thought it was going to. But uh, it was a good jumping off point for me with uh, having some people recording my songs. It, it got me to uh, really buckle down and become a better writer. Yeah. I went, this is what I really came here to do. This is what I really love doing. I'm passionate about writing. Mm -hmm. And um, have been fortunate to be able to do that for, mm -hmm. you know, all these years. That is amazing. <laughs> and and I, you have songs, Scott, by a lot of uh, well-known artists. Well, I do. Um, um, so when you got, like, that major song, <clears> cut, <throat> what did you feel like? Oh, it's so exciting. Especially George Strait. That was one of my earlier uh, songs. And I was a huge fan. When you're a fan of the artist, <laughs> then they call you and tell you he just cut one of your songs. It's pretty, uh, Shocking oh my doing. gosh, it was <laughs> exhilarating and exciting and wonderful all in the same moment. It was fantastic. So you, you grew up in the Dallas, Texas area. Do you learn any Spanish? It, it's, it's so bad. Uh, a, a Come couple, on, uh, you were had a lot of Latinos I, around you. I know a couple of dirty words. No, but... I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that. No, no I, know, I know a couple here and there. I know, you know cerveza? I know cerveza. Okay. Uh, uh, like, uh, oh, bonita, and uh, a couple of sweet words, too, that I, I try well, to, try to use. Well, you need to start practicing so you oh, can incorporate so, some Spanish on your song It's so sad. And all my friends... <laughs> And growing up in Texas, my friends in high school, you know, were Spanish. I mean, you know, my, my pals were Mexicans, and that's the way it was growing up. And it's so sad more people don't uh, know the language because it's all around us down yeah. there, you know. That's yeah, really funny. I'm like so, you. You're yeah. bilingual. I am not. It's, it's, yeah. uh, but, uh, I can teach you a word or two. Good. I need it. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I obviously so, need your help. So uh, tell me about um, Hotels and Highways. Oh. Uh, you got six songs on this album, mm -hmm. and uh, what was the inspiration behind this? Well, uh, musically, the inspiration was that particular song, the title cut. Mm -hmm. uh, I had uh, in the company that I worked for had been encouraging me to try to record something and mm -hmm. create an EP or a project. Didn't really have any songs yet, so I mm -hmm. couldn't really wrap my head around doing something without the music. Then we wrote uh, Hotels and Highways. It was a fit. I sang the demo, it felt good, I thought this could be a song for me. That kind of got the ball rolling wow. and uh, led to another song and another, and like you said, eventually ended up having five or six songs. It just seemed to kind of uh, go together musically. Wow, and I love this photo on your cover right here. Oh, thanks. It's so cool. It's like 
you know, earthy. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love that. I like the black and white. Is, yeah, uh, it's have a young, simple. Young photographer that's done mm -hmm. all of the stuff for us so far for me. It really looks good. I'm getting ready to shoot a video in about a week with the same director. You need a model? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We might need a, a Spanish. I need some Spanish. Heavy you need Spanish. Some Spanish. Yeah. Okay, I'll practice. Hotels and highways practice that in Spanish. <laughs> so, um, so you're gonna be in CMA this year? Yeah, I'm doing part of their their festival uh, outdoor concert series, but um, Forever Country Stage. It's uh, really new this year because uh, it's a cool idea. They're bringing together lots of acts from the '90s, wow. which I fall under that category. Although I'm really promoting some new music, it's just a great opportunity for me to get out in front of some of those fans. Like yeah. I said, I really haven't played a lot of this music or been performing in almost uh, you know 20 years almost. It's wow. hard. Yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I've been behind the scenes doing a lot of stuff, touring, traveling with other artists. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is all kind of new and fun and exciting, meeting well, you, it's, talking it's about gonna, the music. It's going to be great because you have all those clients from around the world. Well, I hope so. so. I hope so. So they're going to get to hear you and see you in person. So are, are you a social media kind of person? Yes, I am. So you do Instagram, Facebook? I and do it all, do it Twitter. Yourself? Yes, I do everything. I have some help here at the company. Well, I'm going to need him <laughs> to help well, me with my social media. You wouldn't know it, but I, yeah, I do like Facebook. It's Terry McBride Music. Okay. And Instagram is the same. Twitter is the Terry McBride. Okay. And then my website is terrymcbridemusic.com. All right. But uh, yeah, like it's been interesting for me. I didn't do a lot of Facebook or anything. I wasn't, uh, I was wasn't out there promoting anything, or yeah. and uh, I had some family and friends I was keeping an eye on. I had sort of an alias. It wasn't even my name. Like okay. just like forty people, family. You, you tried to be incognito. That's it. I just didn't want to tell anything. <laughs> but now that I've opened up and it's uh, here, I am. You know, yeah. it's been really interesting. It's been nothing but cool, positive. A lot of old fans out there, yeah. some new ones That's buying great. the new music. It's really awesome. because you can see it immediately. You know, mm -hmm. it's like a response can come yeah. right here, yeah. right now, yeah. you know. Right on your smartphone. Completely different. Uh, that part of it I do like. So um, thank you so much well, thank for, you. for your patience ah. with my technology problem today. Oh, listen, and, it was worth it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at the festival. Well, thank you. I hope you do. I'd love for you to come out and catch the show. I'll, I will be there. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah, I'll be at the festival. Uh, fans, you know, I'll be at the CMA Festival this year again. Uh, we'll do my best to bring you uh, Facebook Live or YouTube Live, whatever I can. And please come and catch up Terry McBride at CMA. If you cannot make it to CMA this year, you can always follow on the go on your smartphones or go and catch his shows, uh, shows and whatever he's going to be next. And stay tuned for more Entertainment Circle. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was fun. Oh, I enjoyed it. Me too. Hotels and Hawaii. It's all I've ever known More miles and memories I grew up a country fan. For me, this whole process was didn't know I was going to make a record, you know. I just had some people encouraging me to try and do that. I can tell I'm just getting started through this project. It, it came together really well. I'm really proud of it. You know, everything on there is cool and sounds good. Sounds like me. Hotels and Highways. You know, once I heard myself back singing it, I went, gosh, I could sing that song. A guy like me is used to getting lost out.